Yo, Becky, you seen my shirt? Did you check the locker room? No, I probably ought to check there first, huh? Hey, it's Wrestling Hero Fags. Go check the locker room. Velveteen Dream, maybe you'll find it there, or maybe you'll find it right over here with Elite Series 72. We're also going to be reviewing the man. They're all up at Ringside Collectibles. Hit the link in the description below. Discount code here is going to save you 10%. Now, we already reviewed Rey Mysterio, Batista, Buddy Murphy, and Roderick Strong. This is going to be the wrap-up. We're going to bring them all at the end of the video. Rank them right there. Becky, which one do you think is the best? Well, of course me, Hitta Figs. How do you guys think about that accent? <laughs> it's terrible. I can't do accents very well. I tried. I tried an English accent. I tried a British accent. I tried an Australian accent. The only accent I can do is that cringy intro by Wrestling Hero Figs. We got a promo Becky. We have her jacket. We have the open hands for the interchangeable ones. And these are the ones you would need, right? If you're going to be Becky Two Belts, we need the Universal, no Hero Figs, the Raw Women's Championship, as well as the SmackDown Women's Championship. This looks amazing. Now, this is the most recent figure that we have seen with Becky, so we will do a comparison on it. We're going to be getting a new expression, a whole new sculpt on the head scan. So there will be some things that we will have to point about, talk about, compare it, find out if this promo Becky Lynch, if she truly is the man. Well, I wouldn't name myself that hiddle fix if I wasn't. That is very true, Becky Lynch. I cannot disagree with you, especially if you're going to give us the leather jacket, dude. Yes, I am all about the leather. Well, it's actually pleather, but it does reminiscent real leather at times, how you take the picture, how you look at it, it all depends on whether or not the sleeves, they should be going down or halfway up, which they did. I like that. So yeah, you could have taken like a regular custom jacket that you probably picked up from either custom figure shirts or somewhere in the community, but it wouldn't reflect the true like look of it all. As to what you're seeing right here on the back side, we have the matching logo, except this one, it's going to have a gold accent around the letters. On the front, it just has a solid white. Now my biggest thing when it came to that what was it uh ronda rousey the promo one was how she stood now this one you shouldn't have that problem you guys this has received a full-on upgrade equivalent to the male wwe figures hero fix what are you talking about are you talking about the way you pose them that's exactly what i mean i mean check it out look at this you guys pause it stop it there for a second because you are seeing correctly we are getting double jointed knees right there that is a thing of beauty so any Anybody that has been hesitant about doing like you know matches with um, look most of them yeah they were you can get well especially when it comes to the basics they were very equivalent to like a statue but the fact that they threw that in there and I'm sure when she does get the ultimate edition upgrade we will also see it with the elbows that is one that should be coming here in 2020 but for the time being this one is gonna be doing it for me we got the man like I said up front the head scan here's the thing about this scan dude so initially when it was introduced there was a lot of doubters there was a lot of concerns of how like those lips came out like the way she puckers them up that's kind of the look she gives you man like right before she tells you that she's gonna win the rumble i like that I think the reflection, the representation on the figures to what you're seeing on the side image, it is captured right there with the man. Now, the tights, here's my minor gripe that I want to point about this. Like, yeah, it's cool. Like, they threw in the jacket, so that's probably where the budget had all gone to. But the thing of it is, is that instead of sculpting on the belt or the texture design on the shorts, they just went ahead and painted it. So again, it's, it's a minor gripe, but nonetheless, I mean, we have seen it, so it's not something that would be new. Like we've seen it with the Bray Wyatt figures. We're gonna see it with upcoming ones that they've already shown here over the past weekend. But again, it's a, it's a little minor thing. It's not a big thing. I can understand the reason why they didn't do that. The rest of the tights right here, they're carrying through pretty good. I, I'm one side like it's actually matching on both as you can see right here they're not connecting so i don't know if she had a rip in her tights or what happened but it looks like they kind of stopped right there so some little tiny minor things really not that big really nothing for it to take away from the actual figure we got the high socks we're getting the high kick pads i do want to cover the articulation as we are getting a little extra now with the women's figures we got a full 360 rotation the hair piece back here it is going to hinder that but you're getting a full rotation right there on the head the shoulders they go about this far up when you do take the jacket off you should get a little bit more articulation so let's go ahead and remove it so you guys can see all the points so they come out about this far up they do a full 360 we're getting bicep swivel single jointed 
elbow, butt, keep in mind, it's coming here in the near future. We're getting wrist articulation. The ab crunch goes about this far forward, that far back. Waist swivel. The legs go this far forward, this far back. Upper thigh cut. Double jointed knees, as we mentioned. We're getting calf rotation as well as the ankle articulation. So now that you see it right here alongside... You can see how this one, for me, it has to be the best Becky Lynch figure. Becky's one of those characters that has always been difficult to reflect in figure form, like the expression on the face. They've never really truly captured it. Like, there are some that stand out, but hands down, this is the one that's going to stand out the absolute most. The hair, I think the hair, the tint of the hair, they could have done a little bit like how you're seeing right here on the actual, like, art piece right here I they could have given it like dark highlights but nonetheless they at least captured all that cross pattern right here on the side as well as on the back that is freaking awesome i really do like the speculant you guys i am giving her a 9.5 i mean that point it's or that point five. it's gonna be because of the fact of the whole just the way that the shorts were sculpted and maybe when she did wear it i wasn't there at the event to tell you that that's how it should have gone down but maybe it wasn't that like raised up to where they should have captured it here's the side image right here on the dream the packaging you guys on these on the brand new elite series 72 i gotta point this out man i am a very big fan i like the bright colors i know we already discussed this in the unboxing but it's still pretty nice to see some changes added like for anybody that collects or keeps their figures in the box and the packaging you all can attest to it that this new style it is right there now the interchangeable hands we're getting two open hands we're getting the north american title a nice addition to this this is the second time that we are seeing this belt and it is a thing of beauty you guys if you guys didn't see my review on this belt there is a lot going for this they've added more like you look at your wwe or universal championship belt the sculpt that you're seeing on the straps you don't see it with other figure belts so some things that they really wanted to capture one thing i hope they actually do they go back and redo the wwe and universal championship would love to see that and maybe this figure as well <laughs> at least for the tour so the the thing with the last elite was the over the oversized on the bulk right here. I mean Triple H, I that this is what you're seeing. Triple H or Booker T, same style. That was the biggest gripe that most people had. Now this one, I don't see. You can consider it not being addressed because let's say that this was not sculpted. Let's just go ahead and say that this was done right here and they just added to it. You can still very much see the Triple H style. So future elite, if they do, let's say they they, they don't go with a pre molded uh, shirt. I hope that it goes either to the Kofi Kingston, kind of like what you saw with the customs, either the Kofi Kingston or even Shelton Benjamin. The scan right here, the one that you're seeing on the actual uh, prior elite, it's the one that I'd gotten from the Hollywood. I never got a chance to do the head swap and update it, so it's going to be the same look. I'm pretty sure it's the same look. Once you take off the head and glasses, yeah, the, the same puckered lips that we saw in the previous one, we're seeing it with this one. The only, or the biggest thing that I'm noticing is... um. Like the tint on the actual lips. You're getting like a shinier finish with the previous scan. And then the newer one, you can see how it kind of has more of like a dark finish to it all. So it's it's all on coloring. It's how it was all captured. The outfit itself. So when it was debuted, he hadn't worn it quite yet. Um, this he had worn on the premiere on when they debuted. Yeah, when it was NXT on regular cable TV. So th here's the thing too, you guys. When when it was shown, it, the room, like there was like a whole, it was like, it was dark dark if there was music playing it was really hard to see as to like how the actual look of the entire look i mean from what i picked up i am seeing a lot of a lot of similarities i couldn't see the chest area so i honestly i couldn't tell you and sit here and be like yeah i think what you're seeing right here the reason why you're seeing like painted on leaves up front on the chest is because maybe it was a see-through shirt again it was very dark it, it was really just it, it's hard to distinguish from what the look of the attire looked like as to what you're seeing right here with this figure and again once you do take off the glasses you take off the bandana the bandana is going to be slight work i can guarantee you of that right now just because of the hair piece like you're going to kind of have to force it the best approach that you could take is just to go ahead and heat up the skin. No, hold on. That one came off pretty smooth. It was the last one. I think when I tried on that Johnny Gargano, no, no, the Ciampa uh, bandana to make that Hollywood one. Because that is the idea and thought process to kind of give it the same look that we're seeing right here with that custom scan. But there it is. 
side image right here just a full-on side comparison the same really texture to it all it's gonna be how like underneath it how you're getting get you're getting a dark tint right here so some very very small minor things but apart from that it is the exact same thing it's gonna be the paint apps that are gonna distinguish the two head scans from the rest of it all now the shirt right here again i'm never a fan of rubber shirts pre-molded shirts i'm sure they could have done something similar i could have been it would have it could have been one of those things where it was difficult to reflect it like had they gone with cloth because the pants it would have just looked off had this been you know cloth and then this the way that you're seeing it so it's it's one of those things man that they kind of put themselves up against the wall and just the the whole thing of it all you guys again it's going to be the fact that a lot of people weren't very familiar with it and as we covered the hands right here they are going to be receiving the exact same so you're getting the two open hands as we mentioned right there on the figure and the ones that are on the figure, at least on the right hand, it's going to be a signature pose and another slight open hand. So the attire, yeah, I'm not a fan of it, man. Like, hey, like there was so many different looks that they could have gone with this one. Like they could have given us, for example, the Hollywood look. We could have gotten the red and yellow, like the Prince Puma theme inspired. The one from uh, when he challenged Alistair Black, like this custom one that you're seeing right here. I mean, he's done a whole plethora of different attires that that I mean, so many choices, so many options. But instead, they gave us this one and that's the biggest thing you guys when you introduce something to like the community and they've never worn it it's like yeah fantasy works but it only works to a certain extent and unfortunately for velvet team dream i gotta rank them at the bottom of the list let's bring all of them right here from elite series 72 number one i am still very much in love right here with this one this buddy murphy this one is insane the red attire, not necessarily. I mean, this one is, it is good, but it was the tint of the beard. So as we mentioned, he's ranked number, we're going to, yeah, last place right here for Dream. And then he's the next runner up, but he is number one right here in my heart, at least when it comes to the red attire. Number two, you already know, dude, Undisputed Era, Roderick Strong, first time on the line, number two. Number three, it's going to be Batista. All of those tattoos, all of that design on the figure, it, I mean, there was like little tiny things that kind of put this uh, figure into, you know, rank number three. Could have even been number two, but nonetheless, we got number three. Number four, I got to give it to the man right here, Becky Lynch. And the only reason you're number five, Ray Ray, it's just because of the fact that in the last three most recent Elite Waves, we've already seen Ray Ray. So the overabundance, I mean, this is the best one out of the ones that we've gotten so far but here it is here's the full set man elite series 72 a pretty good set man the wrestlemania elites should be coming up here on the channel here so again turn on that notification bell man we gotta put those up we gotta build that build a figure elite series 72 again if you guys want to pick any of these up hit the link in the description below discount code here is gonna save you 10 percent i want to thank you guys for watching be sure to hit the subscribe button if you're new to the channel and we'll see you on the next one